WP Get Web Dev Tutorials for All User Levels. All right, so yesterday I posted this YouTube video um, showing two ways of doing these portfolio image uh, previews on devices, uh, where the first one will scroll on your mouse over, and the second one will scroll when you use your mouse wheel and groups these two together. What I want to talk about today is how we can translate that into Elementor. Uh, so I'm going to work through this as I go, so bear with me, uh, and let's have a look at that. So let's have a look at Elementor. So actually look at the code from yesterday. So basically I've got some styles. I'm going to do my mobile uh, preview first um, with the scroll, and then I'm going to do the mobile preview with the um, uh, mouse wheel. So let's have a look at that. So I'm going to go back over to Elementor. So I've created a blank page where I've got nothing on it but a header. Okay, so first I'm going to start by just doing look at my structure. So what do I actually need? If I look down the code from yesterday, uh, my structure is, apart from the headings, etc. so starting at this perspective container, I've got a container, which is my perspective container. I've got a mobile hover preview container. I've then got a site image, which has a background image that we're going to scroll. And then I've got a device image, which overlays it. So that there, I'm just going to separate that. That there is the structure that I need to recreate. Now, what I'm going to do in Elementor is I'm going to do this showing the new container or, or um, Flexbox containers, whatever they like to call it. Um, now I, I hope this becomes standard in Elementor pretty soon. It's still an alpha experiment at the, at the time of this recording. Um, I really hope it becomes uh, a standard very soon because it is very, very good uh, and it's more sensible as far as trying to lay things out in the way you normally would with HTML. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new section. I'm going to use the templates here. I'm going to create a two column section. And on the first column, I'm going to leave that on full width. So the content width is full width. I'm going to set the width of this to 300 pixels. So that's a 300 pixel wide um, width there. And what I'm going to make this is my perspective container. I'm going to grab this class here, and I'm going to add that class to this container. So this will be my perspective container. Now have a look at yesterday's video if you want to understand how that works, but that's the basics of it. So in here, I'm going to uh, call that my perspective container. Just so it makes sense when we're looking at the navigator. Now this is just going to be a blank. We can delete that if we want to. Uh, in fact, I will, just to uh, remove any confusion. So we've just got our perspective container. Now, inside our perspective container, we want to have our mobile hover preview. I'm going to grab this class here. I'm going to grab another container. I'm going to drag that inside here. And I'm going to call that our mobile hover it's container. and set that as the class for the mobile preview. Okay, and then what we have inside that is a site image with a background, and we've got the um, device. Okay, so let's grab a, uh, to get our background image, I'm just gonna use another container. You could use many different widgets, I'm just gonna use a container because it's, a, I like the containers because they're a single, wrapper, which is uh, a lot less, uh, there's lots, a lot less DOM elements that you need. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to call that the site image. Oops, we'll grab this one up here so it makes sense. Class of a site image. Uh, so in my advanced, make that my site image. I'm going to call that the site image. I always like naming these so when you're coming back to them, it just makes sense. Uh, and then we're going to have a device. So I'm going to have an image, which is my device. I'm going to grab that there. I'm going to grab an image. 
Uh, here we go. Drag that in there. So underneath here, I've got a, make sure it's not inside there, it is. We don't want it inside that. Sorry, I think I just messed up there. So that's my site image I've got as a container. And this will be my device. We don't want that inside this. I'm going to drag it on top like that and then drag this again. So we don't want the site, the device to be inside the site image container. Image container. We want it to be separate, just like it is in the HTML. They're, they're, they're not inside each other, they're separate. So this is going to be my device class. Let's go back here. Actually, I might as well make that a full. I've already uploaded these, so it's the same uh, mobile transparent I used from yesterday's. So there it is there. And we're going to add the device class to that. Now, with Elementor, with these image widgets, um, it's always a good idea to set this to 100% here so that if this does go, like when it goes to a mobile or tablet view and it goes to a say, full width section, um, instead of being the a small size, it will scale to fit the container, which is what we want. So we set it to 100% so it fills the container. All right. So we've created our structure here. Now for our site image, over here in yesterday's, we actually got a background image um, and set that here. So let's grab that background image. So for our site image, in my style, I'm gonna grab a background image. And in this case, I'm gonna select the same mobile view I viewed from yesterday. And we can see that's there. Okay, we've got this side image. Okay, so we've got our structure set up. Now we need the CSS for this. So I'm going to head over to my site settings and my custom CSS. It's going to grab a, make an extra comment. I've got a bunch of other stuff in here because it's a muck around site. So I've got lots of rubbish in here. So I'm just going to put a comment block at the top here. I'm going to say this is for my uh, 3D. Uh, virtual uh, uh, preview. Okay, so this will be my CSS for that. I'll head back over to my code from yesterday. I'm going to go up the top here. Now we've got a common style, which is our perspective container, where we're standing off by 2,000 pixels. I'm going to take the in one block and uh, with auto out because I've set that on the container in Elementor. So I'm going to take those out. Just tidy this up a little bit. Okay, now a mobile preview from there down to there is our CSS for the mobile preview for the hover. Grab those and chuck them in there. And there we go, straight away we can see that this has changed. However, we notice straight away there's a problem. Now, the reason for this is because some of the CSS in Elementor uh, will override some of the CSS that we don't have when we're just doing it as pure HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So let's have a look at this and see what's happening. So I'm going to update this page. and view it, a separate tab. Bring out my Chrome tools. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna remove this rotation so I can see what's going on. So let's go to my hover preview and I'm gonna untick my transform rotate. And I can see that what's happening is mostly the CSS is okay, but this background image is too wide. Let's see what's happening. So there's my uh, container. There's my, where are we? There's my image, which is set to 100% wide. Uh, there's my background image. And I think the issue here is that what's happening is Elementor is making that container 100% wide, and we're using 
um, positioning here for that. So I think if I go in there, just try unsetting that. So, yep. So if I unset the width, then that fixes the problem. So let's just grab that width unset. Head back over to my site settings, uh, custom CSS, and on the mobile hover preview site image, I'm going to unset that, and that's fixed the problem. Okay, so let's make sure that with this setting here, our uh, inner container with the uh, background image is set correctly. So, yep, that looks good. Uh, what I'm looking at is the blue and making sure that it goes to the top, left, right, and bottom of the screen. If I look at this one here, I can see that the blue is a little bit too high because I can see some white between the black uh, mask and that. So I'm going to just select that. I'm going to set the bottom to maybe two. Oops. So it's on 2.0, maybe set to two. Have a look at that. That looks about right now. So that blue marker is lining up at the bottom of the screen. So if you're not sure how to do this part of it, go back to yesterday's tutorial, because this is just how you do an Elementor, the description on how you decide and set these um, percentages to match your mask is all done in yesterday. So I'm gonna change that bottom to two there. Go back to my CSS and for my mobile, I'm going to set the bottom there to two. Okay, so pretty much that's it. I've now got my mobile hover on, uh, sorry, on move the background on hover, um, done for Elemental. So the, all this code here from yesterday, from there, so all that there, and this bit here is now being translated to Elemental. Okay, so let's do the next one. So what we remember from yesterday is that the structure of it is pretty much the same. So let's just duplicate this here. So go back to that. I'm going to duplicate this. Section. Okay, and there it is there. And we're going to change our, our settings in here. So let's go to uh, I'll call that the hover and I'll call this mouse wheel. Okay, so perspective container again, we can leave that. Mobile hover container. I'm going to call that uh, mouse wheel. I'll just make it MW. Brevity, okay. So let's have a look at our structure here. So yesterday's demonstration, we've got a mouse wheel group above this. So I'm going to grab that. Oops, I'm going to grab this mouse wheel group class. And I'm going to stick that on the parent container here because I want all of these under there. So I'm going to put that mouse wheel group class on this uh, container which has the containers inside of it. Um, we then have, we'll just do the mouse wheel side of it, sorry, we'll just do the uh, mobile side and then we'll add the um, tablet one after that. So the same wheel, we've got a perspective container and then we've got these two classes here. So I'm going to go to, and that is on the uh, preview container. So that would be this container here. Add to that. And we're going to replace that with these two classes. Uh, go back to here. And we're going to grab on the site image. We've got an extra uh, class, which is MWBG scroll. So I'll grab that. That is on the site image. Chuck that on there. Um, and then the rest of it's the same. All right. So let's see what's different up here. So now I need to look at 
this this here. So for the mobile again, we're just going to do the mobile. So the mouse wheel group. Not going to worry about that because that's the um, outer container here, which we can control the width of that with Elemental. So I'm not even going to worry about sitting the inline block there. Uh, preview container, all that there. So I'm going to grab from there down to where are we? Yeah, to here the tablet starts at that point there. So let's grab all that. And we'll stick that in our site settings. Custom CSS. I might just add another comment here. Uh, mouse wheel. So we know what that's all about. Okay, now we've got the same deal here happening where we need to make sure that on the side image we unset the width. Okay, so we've pretty, pretty much got the same thing. Now something's happening here with that container up here, the mouse wheel scroll. So let's have a look at that. So actually I'm going to update this. Uh, also the page update. Okay, so we've got a problem here with our rollover. So I'm just going to go into this background image. I'm going to force the hover state so we get our rollover. Ah. Force the hover state. Uh, is it this here, the widget image? Force state hover. There we go. Oh, it keeps changing. Force state hover. There we go. We've got it on the right one now. So what we're seeing here is on the before, what have we got here? We've got an absolute position at the top of minus six. Uh, what are we missing? We computed here. Let's just try a couple of things here. If I go height, unset, width, unset, um, auto, display, inline block, Let's try a few things here. Not sure why we're getting that full width. So if we go top, so it's absolute position to the top, one out of one. What are we getting? Why are we getting that as a full width? 141. Where is our width? Width, 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 width. 250 pixels. Uh, okay, so we're getting E container before is 100%. So that is the width. So the width to put on auto and then make that important. No, that didn't work. 10%. No, that's not working for me. So I'm going to make that say. So this is where you gotta look in and say, okay, because we're putting it into a page builder like Elementor, it's got a lot of its own CSS which will override some of these things. So we might have to maybe set that width to, maybe we do the max width. Try max width. Uh, 
uh, maybe make that max width of say 200 px. That's uh, too too still too big. Make it I don't know, 150 and write zero. Okay, what are we seeing here? Right. All right. I'm not going to worry too much about this, but you can muck, muck around with this here to change what's happening with that scroll. But apart from that, the rest of this looks all right. Um, now, I've just got to set up my JavaScript to make this work. So let's head back over to here. I'm going to add an extra uh, HTML widget and just stick it underneath. Why is she sticking to a separate section? Oh, that didn't work, did it? Here we go. And I'll call this um, MW JavaScript. <laughs> Vana script. So MWJS, that'll do. All right, head over to my uh, code from yesterday. I'm going to grab this script from there all the way down to there. Copy that. And I'm going to paste that into here. Uh, I didn't update that, did I? Um, OK, head back to my site settings. Custom CSS and doo -doo -doo -doo. so we need to height uh, we'll set a max width of say I don't know 160 pixels. See how that looks. Here we go. Update that. Um, now, if I head back over here, now I've added my JavaScript. I should be able to use my mouse wheel. So there we go. I'm using my mouse wheel here, and that is scrolling. So I'm just going up and down with my mouse wheel, and now this scrolls. Okay, so that's working. Um, so that's how we translate from one to the other. I'm going to continue on this and just add the... Um, uh, the other um, tablet view. I'm just going to duplicate this here. But I'm going to set my width on that to say, I don't know, 700. Too big. Might be too big, so make it 600. All right. Now I'm going to grab a different one. I'm going to call this the. Uh, I'll call this mobile. Call this other one tablet. All right, so we've got a uh, representation of the tablet now. And I'll call this tablet. Uh, tab will do. Oh my goodness, my editor's doing some weird things. Okay, so my tablet container, solid settings device. All right, now for my uh, tablet container, let's have a look back at yesterday's again. So my tablet container is, that is exactly the same as the previous one. This is exactly the same. And that is exactly the same. Okay, so what is the difference between mouse wheel tablet container? There we go. Sorry, that's different. So I've got to change just this one set of classes on the under the perspective container. So that is the perspective container. Here's the tablet container. Advanced. Change those. Now I've got to grab. CSS for the tablet. I think that's the only difference there. Let's 
looking through. It's only these three lines here, or three rules here. Copy those. Go to my site settings and CSS again. Now I think I need to unset that again. You can actually probably optimize the CSS a little bit by playing around uh, with it. Um, so that's basically got the same stuff in there. I'm going to update that. Okay, update this. I'm gonna go back to my mouse wheel tablet and grab my side image. Our side image is going to be different to this. I'm just going to have a look for that. Wait a second. Image I'm going to grab for that is my tablet image, side image. And then my uh, device is going to be my tablet landscape device. I'm just going to drag that in. So at that, and there we go. So we've got those two there. Um, I might make that a little bit wider so it sits nicely. So I'll go back to the container, the perspective container. We might make that a little bit wider. Now that's not scaling for some reason. We'll come back to that. What's this here? Okay, all right, we'll play with that a little bit later um, with sizing, but there it is there. Now I'm just going to hit the update and check this. What we should see is these two should be grouped. So if I scroll with that mouse there, both of those scroll. I scroll the mouse here. That one scroll, both of them are scrolling at the same amount. So we're going to get to the bottom of this one on the right. We'll be at the bottom of the one on the on the left. So just to prove this, we're going to just duplicate this entire section. Update that. Refresh. Okay, so we can see here. that as I roll over this section here, some weird scale, weird um, stuff going on here. Let me have a look at the JavaScript. I think I've got, that might be doing some weird things with Elemental. Let's just comment that out for now. The scroll into view stuff. Refresh that again. Oops, control F5. Okay. So as I use my mouse wheel to slowly scroll this container, the mobile on the left is scrolling. If I scroll the right of the mobile container, container on the right scrolls and this is independent so that's a group so here we go so we've actually got it working in elementor so we've translated this code here into elementor by following this structure using um, flexbox containers for the uh, perspective container the preview container uh, the background image and then adding an image in there for the device uh, and the same for the tablet um, and then just
copying the CSS, the raw CSS across here, looking at the kind of things that have been overridden by Elemental's default CSS, making a few adjustments, and it works. So that's pretty much uh, the tutorial on how you would do this. Thank you.